Hello everyone, coming to you with another character video, but this is actually coming to coming giving you another um predatory might video. Um so this is um Hypo Aspis here and this is a predatory might that will um that would um feed off of your um bad mites. If even if it's crab mites or Food mites also. So, if you have fungus gnats in, t in the your in your habitat too, they would feed off with their eggs. And so, here is what the bug looks like. Hypospis mites, and I, he's probably um, eating the maggot here. So when you're you get them, you get them from Evergreen Grower Supply, and and I'll put the link in the description. So, um, right here, when they get it shipped to you, this is where they're gonna ship it to you in this tube right here. Okay. Um, what I'm doing, what I'm doing is getting a twelve thousand point, twelve thousand five hundred and a half liter bottle, and it's eighteen dollars. Plus for air shipping would be thirty, which that totals up to forty eight dollars. So yeah, it's expensive, but it's really um it's really really um it's really worth it. So for some people that have low income and cannot afford anything like this, um you may just will stick to deep cleaning. But I do it this way so when I have crabs under and don't really want to do anything with the crab head, this is the way I go. So this is what they do. They target pests, fungus gnats. And western flower thrips. And this is I don't know it's soil dwelling. Feeds on small insects, and then also spider mites. You know, um, adults are tan in color, less than one millimeter long, which is very small. But when you look closely, you can see them directly over a soil surface. So, yeah, when you have your substrate here. You have to make sure you get everything off the substrate, including shells and any of those little things that you crabs chew on, like sticks and everything. So I'll be doing that. I'll be taking everything off the surface of the substrate in about a minute here. And also, um, in the soil surface, in the, in the um, Substrate service. You're gonna make sure. You gotta make sure you don't touch the soil. Those, the, the, the um crab the crab, the um, the substrate service because these little guys are very, 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 very fragile, and then you can accidentally kill them if you touch the su the surface. So I'm gonna be right back here. Taking everything off, sir.
All right, so they just arrived. They come in this book, box like this, um, a tube like that. And first, before you put it, before you put it in there, you, the only way that you're gonna see it if they are alive is put them on a white piece of paper. Put them on a white piece of paper, and if you see some crawling around, that means they're still alive. Where's the one that I? Where's the one that I saw? Oh, don't tell me that he went on the floor. Oh my god. Alright, he's up. Well, yeah, I just saw one crawling around, so yeah, there's someone that's still alive. <laughs> so that's. And then I'll be putting some in the Persidious Gamer habitat because I've been seeing some. <coughs> some mites in there too. And of course. Attack. So they come in a tube like this. It has to be sideways because if you put it from down to up, it would crush. It would crush them. These guys are very, very, very delicate and very fragile. I am again, so I got the tube open. So, um. What you gonna do is, um, sprinkle it like this. And I'm gonna try to make an avian out layer. But I only have some in the water. I hope I didn't get all of it. All right, so. Also, I would leave the tube in there. Just so the other mites a little bit. Just so the other mites can, um. You're not gonna want to touch the substance. Well, because um, that's so they can travel and stuff. So, and also, we don't want to um, also, you don't want to kill them and crush them. Cause they're delicate little guys. They sure are delicate little guys. And that's how Hypoastasmality works. <laughs>